So you want to know the best way to play with the Portugal Club FC Porto? Well, that's great because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the best out of this team. My name is Mark and we're going to show you the best formation, lineup, tactics and instructions. But before I begin, I really wanted to ask you to drop a like. It's a small favor, I think, but it can help me a lot with growing my channel and rank my videos higher on YouTube. So small favor I'm asking. I'm trying to help you guys with these videos. Just help me back a bit, please. And if you're new to the channel, I want to find your way back really easy. Make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on. FC Porto, it was a really hard one, but I finally think I got the right formation. I tried different things, but lost lots and lots of matches. And uh, yeah, finally, this is it. The formation, the 4-2-3-1 narrow formation. Costa is the goalkeeper. Uh, João Mario is the right defender. Pepe, amazing center back, one of the best I used this year in online seasons, uh, especially if you are looking at the 81 rating. Some players have way higher rating, but this guy felt so damn good. Uh, the other center back, a bit of a surprise maybe, is Manafa. I know he is not a center back, but all the center backs that we have in this formation are really slow, like Carmo, 50 pace, Cardoso, 61 pace. We also have Marcano, 50 pace. So. They are they are really really slow in my opinion and I like to have faster center back. So I tried Manafa. He was pretty good. He has not the best defensive stats, not the best physical stats, but that was not a great issue for me, a big issue for me. Uh, so I keep him there for a few matches and yeah, he did a wonderful job for me. So I'll use him uh, and Pepe next to him. Then we have on the left side a Sanushi. Uh, we have two central defensive midfielders. I hope I'm saying the name right. It's Eustaquio and the other one is Uribe. Uribe is more playing uh, more like a box-to-box -box player. I know he's not really a box-to-box -box player because he doesn't have the high, high work rate. He has medium high, but yeah, he can do whatever he wants. I'm going to show you that in the instructions later. And this guy is playing more like the defensive player. Uh, then on the right side of the attack, I'm using Pepe, Otavio is the central attacking midfielder and Galeno is the left attacking midfielder and I'm using Taremi as the striker. Then we're going to the tactics, press after possession loss with a width of 40 and a depth of 60 and I must say that if you are using this the whole match that around the 60 70 minutes your team your the most of your players can be getting really tired so keep that in mind you can also start with balance and then maybe later in the match uh, switching to press after possession loss or vice versa start with this and then during the match going back to balance to spare the stamina of your players a bit but for me this is really the way to go from the beginning to surprise your opponent overwhelming them with the pressure and with some quick attacks and you can score easy goals at the beginning of the match so that's a bit of my tactic for this team uh, the builder play is long ball chance creation is direct passing the width is 50 plays in the box five bars corners of free kicks both two bars then the instructions, really, really important. Stay back while attacking for the right defender. The center backs are both default. I didn't change anything. And the left defender, stay back while attacking. Then the most defensive midfielder, I already said that. Good passing lanes and stay back while attacking. Then we have Uribe. Uh, I didn't have anything on him. He is just default. Pepe, default. Uh, Galeno also default didn't change anything then we have Otavio the only thing I changed for him is stay forward and then we have Taremi get in behind and stay forward all right this is it for me the best way to play with FC Porto if you want to try it out yourself set up everything the same like I did and go into an online match and yeah, try it out around five matches or something and please after that come back to me do this video and let me know in the comments what you think of it or what your results are I'm really curious about that thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye